Hey everybody, Max Kulik, Empty Everest here, and I'm going to be playing Volts, a Tekkit mod pack. Um, it's very new, actually. Um, it was recently create, uh, re recently released, and um, I'm I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do a little uh, series of tutorial, whatever you want to call it, about um, how to make a lot of the things and how a lot of the things work in the game. Um, and uh, I'll just be basing it all off of Tekkit, or the in this case the Volts wiki. Um, which I'll put the link in the description if you want to look a little farther too. Um, so I guess let's get started. So today I'm going to be showing you how to work and with and make the uh, whatever you want to call it the uh, railgun. Um, so I'm going to do it in creative, of course, because not ain't nobody got time to spawn or, or make everything. Um, so we're going to first start by getting the railgun out and I will place it there. Um, next you need to get a power source. So in this case we're going to use a solar panel. Uh, let's just use a high voltage couple. Um, then you need some cable slash wires. Excuse me about that. Uh, wires. Um, we'll do. Where is it? There it is. Right? Yep. Okay. So these are um, advanced solar generators. So in other words, they're just generators that are generating electricity from solar. So we got two set up there. Set up another one right here, and we'll set up another one here. Okay, so now we have, uh, and you should be collecting. Yep, you can see that the voltage is going up in this little voltage meter right here to show you that these are actually collecting voltages. Now, on most items in the game, the red spot right here, and a lot of items, see it's not over here, is the um, output. So we're just going to connect all these up to the output, and uh, I'm going to connect them all together. And then I will put a um, energy ultimate energy cube because they have the most power storage, whatever. Um, and we're gonna put that right here. And green is input, I believe. No, it's not. No, I'm coughing today. Um, anyway, we'll just. Oh, 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 it's right. Sorry, sorry. I forgot. I'm stupid. Not really. I mean, yes, I am. Ah, oh, how did I forget? I even reminded myself when I was testing it out in single player. Okay, um, don't use advanced solar panels. They generate too much electricity. Use uh, for a simple circuit. Use uh, these solar generators, just a normal one. And uh, since these are a lot smaller. We'll use. We'll put a lot more up, and then these we can connect to the ultimate uh, energy cube. Uh, you get a railgun. Or no, I have a door. Okay, put our railgun back over here, and then we'll go ahead and put our energy, which we'll call it right here, here. And we'll you gotta take the insulated H, uh, HV cables, connect it up to the back, front, side, bottom, whatever you want to on the uh, railgun. You can't do the top, of course, but um, any side and the bottom works. So we connect that up into this guy right here, and then we'll just set up a little bit of a solar array type deal so that we can collect uh, the energy. Um, now, of course, you can see I set up the red outputs on. Uh, facing each other, so I can just send a cop or a uh, cable right down here, and this should start. Yeah, you can see it's powering it up. Um, I think right now. Okay, so that's all set to go. This is all halfway powered. These are still collecting. I don't know why it's halfway powered, but so now you need to go ahead and get some uh, railgun bolts. Uh, I'm gonna use the normal railgun bullets. Because either way, it's still pretty kick-ass. Okay. Um, now, after you have this set up, you think you could just go ahead, click on it, and start shooting away and unleashing hell on 
uh, testificates and other players and such. Well, actually, um, it's a little confusing still. You gotta go spawn a bunch of redstone crap in. Uh, just run. Uh, just typical redstone stuff, so you'll need a tor or a few torches, or w one torch, a few, four redstone repeaters, um, and now there's better ways to do this, but I'm showing you a simple way, and you'll need a couple pieces of redstone wire. Um, so then you go ahead and connect the redstone directly up to it, doesn't matter where, it just needs to be connected onto any side or the bottom. And you have to, I need to set up a larger area on my little fortress space here, because you, you can see I actually turned it into, oh that's why I have a door, I turned this into my fortress, because that's really what this game's all about, voltage, um, it's really all about making a fortress, in my opinion, and just kind of trying to demolish as many other players as you can, um, I'm going to see if there's a possibility you can run this on SMP and maybe start a server for it, Quick, quick nudge nudge, um, it's a very fun mod, I've, so far, I'm only, I've only been playing it for a few hours now, and it's incredibly exciting, there's so much more you can do to it than, um, Vanilla Minecraft, of course, because I believe it's 16 mods in this mod pack. And there's also a lot more you can do on it um, than, of course, Vanilla Minecraft. Um, compared to Tech 8, I would say Tech 8's a little bit better because this really only focuses on um, uh, weapons-related type things. Um, but, I mean, it still has it, its pluses over Tech 8 now. It would be really cool is um, if they integrated these 16 mods with Tech 8 so that you could have all these like really ep epic uh, weapons and stuff that I'll show you in a second. Um, in tech it. Now, of course, you can't really. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go on the boring stuff right here. But as a server owner, um, it would be really bad if they did that because how much griefing would be going on? Because this railgun does a hell load of damage, and um, having this on a tech it server would probably be a very bad idea for the server owners. Now, it'd be fun as hell for the players, but as far as server owners go, it's gonna be a huge headache. So I'm kind of actually glad they incorporated this into a, a standalone. Uh, mod pack, and it's got a cool name. So now to actually show you what the railgun does, um, you'll need to make sure you're not in creative mode. Uh, for whatever reason, it does not work in creative mode, or as far as I'm concerned, it, I've been having troubles with it. Um, and then go ahead, and, and I'm actually not going to power that up right away. Go ahead and start your redstone, uh, whatever you want to call it, clock. Um, I made mine relatively slow because I think you're going to want it slow. I believe it shoots every time you do. Um, it hits a uh, redstone pulse. So I'm gonna get in here and we'll just start unleashing hell. I believe it just broke. No, it did not break. Oh shit, now it broke. <laughs> I just blew, up, blew it up and all my stuff's gonna start burning so I better put it out. No. No. No, no, ah, not my base. No, I blow my own base up. Um, so as you can see, it actually it, it it's pretty uh, pretty cool mod, I would say. Um, now I'm gonna there's got there's a better way to do it because I mean it's for it to fire every time you get send a redstone pulse it kind of sucks because then you have to send a new redstone pulse every time and you can't actually control. You can just sit in it, point where you want to go, but you can't actually control. Um, how far you want to go? Now, on S SMP standards, this would be, be a, that would work really well because um, SMP multiplayer because it would work it would work really well because of the fact that you could have somebody loading it constantly because you can only fill it up with I think 16 bullets. Um, you have somebody loading it up and everything while you are on it, playing around, controlling it, shooting whatever. Um, now, it actually it was going about once every two redstone pulses because it would run out of electricity on the first one, and then it'd have to wait for it to charge again because it takes 800. Uh, what does it take? It takes. I gotta look at the. It's not EU. It's actually volts. Um, I think it's in measured. There's some joule measurement, uh, kilojoules. I think that is. But um, there there are actual similar to actual um, electricity measurements in the real world. Um, only difference is this is not the real world. Um, so this has been. Um, uh, that's that's pretty much how you set up the railgun. Um, I'll just go through a quick one again, just to show you. So your railguns, uh, you put your bullets in the railgun, uh, set up a redstone pulse to your railgun. So uh, to you go over here. So boom, boom, boom. Right there, right there, 
there, right there, connect it over here, and then we'll just wait to start that up, and we'll connect it right here. I wait to start it up until I get in, because it'll go. Oh, 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 don't go. It didn't go. Aha, now we're going to unleash hell. Okay, so um, I'm going to set it to daytime. I'm going to get some solar panels up in here. Let's just set up a huge ass array so we don't run out of voltage. Boop, 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 derp. Derp, derp, derp. Okay, so there's one side, there's two side, broke the mushroom. And there we go. We'll take my cable. And. Um, so for the, um, I'm gonna just add in one more thing for the for uh, those of you who play TechKit, um, that energy cube that I showed you earlier, this guy right here, it's pretty much like an MFSU or whatever in uh, TechKit because they have different sizes and whatnot. And in that case, that would be an MFSU. Um, so I'm gonna actually reface this so I don't blow myself up before I actually get in it like that. Get off of it and power it, and let's do this. Yeah! Tree's gonna go. Boom. Am I out of bolts or something? Out of power? Oh, I broke it. Gosh darn it. <laughs> so this is a fun little mod. Um, if you have enough power, of course, you can always keep the thing powered, which is really cool. Um, and it does a hell lot of damage. So when you're playing, um, like I said before, this mod's really useful for doing stuff like... Uh, uh, um, SMP battles or whatever. So if you get, you get a bunch of friends, I'd probably suggest maybe. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna say for a fun game, I'm gonna say six. You have three on three, and you each set up a huge base, and you can get radars, which I'll show you in later videos and stuff. And you can just pretty much demolish the hell out of each other's bases by sending remote missiles, uh, remotely guided missiles, over to their bases, and using rocket launchers to blow up your enemies. And, you know, just, just, you know, showing who's boss in the Minecraft world. Um, so this has been my video on Railguns today about uh, Volts, the new tech mod pack. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, remember to like the video and subscribe. It helps a lot. Thanks. And, uh, yeah.